Bill Garolnik turns 87 next month, but he's not slowing down much. Well, I don't feel my age. The Chicago area retiree is in tip top shape physically and mentally. It's that last part that piqued the interest of researchers at nearby Northwestern University, which is conducting a study of so-called superagers. Superagers are individuals who are over age 80 who have memory performance that is at least as good as individuals in their 50s and 60s. Emily Rogalski and her colleagues want to know how superagers have defied not just dementia, but the age-related slowing of memory that most people experience late in life. And we think if we can understand the factors contributing to superaging, it may offer new hypotheses and new ways to explore um, the challenges in Alzheimer's disease. Researchers so far are finding something unique about an outer brain layer in superagers that is critical for memory and other key functions. So when we look at the cortex of their brain, we see that on average that it looks more like a 50-year-old brain than it looks like an average 80-year-old brain. Rogalski says superagers are often extroverts with strong social networks suggesting a brain benefit to having good friends. Years ago, Garonic helped form a men's group that now has over 100 members. He and his pals bike, play tennis and water volleyball, and have regular lunches and meetings. I think all relationships uh, give you a, a, a better feeling of well-being. Heather Snyder with the National Alzheimer's Association says people often think about what goes wrong as a risk factor for later life dementia rather than what goes right to prevent it. And by studying superagers, we can get information about what might be uh, contributing factors of how our brains are structured, our social interactions, how our heart health feeds into our brain health and use that information for thinking about strategies for prevention and treatment of Alzheimer's and other dementias. Although there's no guarantee superagers got to where they are by traveling the same path, they do offer hope. Perhaps if we expected a bit better from ourselves, then we would understand that not all aging is um, doom and gloom and talking about things changing for the worse. And that we all have a shot at a brighter cognitive future. Mike Householder, Associated Press.